Hello, Victoria's readers. Welcome back to another day of reading. Today read My Mommy Medicine. Whenever I am sick, or just feel kind of gloomy or sad, I can always count on my mommy medicine. Sometimes it's a kiss so loud, it reminds me of a French horn at Mardi Gras. Or a hug so warm and tight, it feels like wearing my toasty pajamas on a cool, cool night. Sometimes it's a cuddly nose rub or a massage that tickles or a mental back rub or minty, it fills up my whole room. Sometimes it's a fruity popsicle, kiwi, watermelon, or just plain old vanilla ice cream will do. Or even better, hot chocolate full of misty, foamy milk that looks like clouds or angel wings. Or soup. Soupy, hot chocolate, soupy, chicken or squash. I love squash. It's like sunshine in a bowl. Sometimes it's bubbles, the kind of bubbles you blow or catch or sink into in the, in the tub. Sometimes it's a card game, Uno or Crazy Eight or maybe chess or dominoes, or if I'm feeling up to it, a piggyback ride, or an indoor horseshoe toss. Sometimes it's a whispered prayer just before nodding off at nap time and sometimes it's a song at bedtime when brother john is sleeping and the itsy bitsy spider is climbing up a water sprout and little stars are twinkling and i'm mommy sunshine and she is mine and we make each other happy even when skies are gray. Sometimes it's a silly dance we make up ourselves. A dance that works, even if you have to stay in bed. And sometimes it's a story where we sell off on a great day adventure to a faraway land where everyone is in trouble and only mommy and I, and of course a little magic, can save the entire world. Or we watch a favorite movie that makes us laugh and laugh and laugh and makes us cry a little too. Or we cover our castle box with all the drawings we made. And sometimes it's just plain old sitting up, mommy and me propped up against my favorite pillow while watching my ceiling glow and the dark stars flicker, making our own sky. Sometimes it's even actual medicine, which might taste yummy or yucky. But nothing 
will ever, ever take the place of my mommy, Madison. The and I hope you enjoyed my mommy, Madison. Thank you, Victoria's readers. And we will get back to you another day. Bye.